Today I'm going to show you how to paint the two tigers and a special method to present the soft dark stripes on the tiger fur. In Joing Art is a global artist community that I created five years ago, supported by our members. In our learning center, we have more than 1,200 full learning lessons, including the full process of the painting you're about to watch. And we just improve our learning center with one-click reference download feature. You can stop your membership at any time. I'm waiting for you to join us today. Now let's start today's painting. I first use a 3B graphite pencil to draw. First, look for the large area, the size of the tigers, and the space on the left and the right. Make sure to give enough attention to the design and composition at this step. Then I use the flat brush with enough water to mix a gray color to paint into the snow ground. You can paint into the areas of the tigers is no problem because this color is light enough. These soft right marks on the snow will give interesting background to contrast to the stronger and defined pattern of the two tigers. Then I'm going to paint the color of the tiger body. I separate the process into two parts. In this step, I only focus on the foundation full color without the dark stripes. And I make sure that I will have enough time to capture not only the light and dark brown colors, but also the animals and anatomy and forms. Make sure that you don't paint into all the spaces keep some small areas to be white. I'm going to have the baby tiger a little bit brighter color. So I'm going to have a little bit yellow color. It's supposed baby, right? I'm going to have the back over here and a little bit darker. The back over here like that going through. Here you go. And I'm going to have a little bit softer, just use the water, make a little bit softer on the edge over here. Now don't wait too long if you want to have a soft transition. Got a little bit gray color coming around over here. Okay, and the back of this leg, a little bit gray too. Now, we're going to have the color a little bit darker. Now, come to the top of the head, but don't merge into the big tiger too much. Like that. I'm going to pick this a little warm gray color. Yeah, take a look. I'm going to have this coming over here because I want to point the direction into the tigers. Like that. And I have this coming up over here. Very efficient, this brush. See. Get that. Show a little bit shape. Make it a little bit different size. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little bit darker color for the underneath. Okay. Okay, now see. See that it has a nice soft feeling. The depth of this is good. That's good. I really like it. I'm going to over here too. Have a little bit darker. Like that. Maybe a little bit over here and there. Have a little bit line. That's good. I'm going to make this a little bit softer. All right, that's just pretty good. I'm gonna also add a little few line for the dry brushes. Okay, like this. Okay. 
remember this is a calligraphy brush it's very can draw a very very thin line there you go and making sure those lines they are helping to bring the attention into the main objects piece by piece to paint these stripes so let's first mix the dark color by using the present blue or the Windsor blue green shade with the red color so making sure it is dark enough solid okay that's good this is very dark now I'm gonna use the fry brush now start let's say start from this head so I'm gonna wet this color softly one piece at a time okay, like this you don't want to wet too much place because in that case uh, when you get to it it's already dry now when you start from how about the neck over here we started this first and take a look i'm going to do one at a time like this push it down and then look at that way to go you see that soft transition very soft color and like that and one line and continue and take a look at one line first put it down and then drag it over and a little bit over here like that a little bit soft now coming to the front over here there's a little line in the middle coming all the way get to the center you see that this line all the way coming down to the middle over here now here you go i'm going to pick one star wood and one stroke all the way from here lift it up a little bit and then coming down a little bit and here you go a little bit coming into front over here okay now i have one line over here and I have a little bit over here too. Now here you go. Right underneath. Okay, we're ready for the baby tiger. I'm gonna continue. It's the same thing. We're just gonna do section by section. I'm gonna put it into the head first. The head is most complicated. So I'm gonna put the Color on the head and the back. I'm gonna take this dark color and then I'm gonna start painting. Maybe start from the ear. Okay, like that. That's good. And then and this ear coming over here. Push it down and. Coming on the back over here. Take a look on the arm over here. There you go. Then up over here. The neck have a little bit coming up. Do a little more orange color in the top of the paw. Okay. That's good. A little bit gray color underneath. And I can add a little shadow over here. Like that. A little bit shadow. Right under the paw, the body of the tiger. So you can make it look more. Let's sketch the shadow. I'm gonna have a little bit over here. Have some see the snow here you go some snow over here that's good on the other side a 
also under here you have to see that there's the the other dimension of the snow okay. I also want to make this stone a little bit warmer I'm going to make sure that this is look like this the wood That's good. Okay. okay, now I'm going to do a little scratching and take a look at what is the most important line. Start over here. Okay, slowly. Making you get a very clear white line. That's good. I'm gonna have a little clear few more. Okay. Be patient. You have to make it like persistent from the point. Okay, so you can get the Aligns very crisp. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have one little bit longer. Okay, on this side, gonna have a few lines. can use the calligraphy brush, draw a little gray line. Okay. A few lines at the front over here. It's good. Very thin, very small. There's also a couple lines over here too. Okay. Couple shape in at the front and the top of the eye. You got a little line over here too. That's good. And also inside the tiger's eye, it's not white. It actually looks a little bit more like a gold color. Okay, let's take a look at that. Take a look again. A little bit red. That's good. Like that. I'm going to put that color right in the eye. There you go. Right in the eye. That's good. And then the little tiger's face. You got that's the nose. I'm gonna add that color in here. And the top over here. Little bit clear line. It was a little bit too soft. It's alright. It's good. So it's pretty good. Have some soft, and on top of that, have a little blue color. <laughs> 